outside. Yeah. That's real good fresh blood. Guys, welcome back to Southern Extreme TV. Thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight. We are going coyote hunting again. We have had a phenomenal January and February so far. Right now it is the second week of February. Um, best January and February we've had by far. I don't know what has happened, uh, if it's just pure luck or just the coyote gods looking down on us but we're going to keep going as long as they keep running um, pretty much we got in the entire month of february after february that's when me and guffy hang it up guffy's got coaching um, and then i got fishing i try to take march and april uh, the beginning part of april off to do some crappy fish and take a break from the videography um, and fish hang out with my family before turkey season so with that being said we're going to hunt as many nights as possible we have a beautiful beautiful afternoon here we're going to go hunt some really gorgeous properties tonight and i think we're going to hunt some new ground that we never hunted before which i think is going to be key to hopefully putting some fresh dogs in the back of the truck so guys thanks so much for hanging out with me hit that subscribe button love you guys to pieces let's go have some fun and shoot some dogs in the face Alrighty, guys i'm gonna pop this knot off uh, we're gonna hit a couple good spots see what happens um i've got some good properties lined up so keep those fingers crossed see if we can shoot them Alrighty guys, we are grinding it out right now. We've been uh, kind of on the move, just jumping around from place to place. So basically we've been going to a spot, howling. We're hearing coyotes all over the place, but we're just not close to any, um, which we're hunting some new places. We don't exactly know where these coyotes really want to be at. We just know that we're in the vicinity of where coyotes are and we're just hoping that we get close to them or they're in an area where we can move on them. So we just made a drive over to the other end of the county. We're getting ready to get out, start hunting some new uh, fresh ground. We got this property. Then the next two properties we got, we're gonna be right back into some familiar ground. So fingers crossed, hopefully we'll finally get into some. Alrighty guys, uh, last time we were at this spot, we caught in two coyotes and we had an absolute pile right there off that corner so fingers crossed they're still right there let's see if we get them fired up <coughs> so yeah they're in that same spot they're on the side of that mountain ain't they? no they're right there in that corner Four to five. things die down for just a second we got a, a bowl bowl squeak playing right now which i don't know if we can pick it up on the camera or not but these coyotes can hear a lot better than we can so i'm hoping they might get curious enough to right there they come three of them
shoot that middle dog if it's time. I'm gonna shoot the middle one. I'm shooting the one on the far left if he'll stop. Oh shit, my gun's damn, somebody shoot. You missed him? Hold on, hold on, hold on, don't shoot. Stop, 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 stop. Did you hitchers go off? I hit that dog. I never racked one. I'm squeezing the trigger and he never came. Yeah, I hit that one running. I was trying to shoot through his, trying to shoot through his dang limbs though. Did you miss your stuff? Mine was way up there at the top of the hill. I just swore I hit mine. Huh? I'm pretty sure I hit mine. He was acting really <coughs> funny right now. up here that we shot is a female and that one that we just caught back in is probably a male. That last one was a small cub. Yeah. I swear there's at least two dead right now. If not three. I'm up here cutting flips. I, I, tried to shoot the I hit that one running. <laughs> well guys we had we, we had a big group of coyotes line up right in front of us and we had three come in. Guffy was always on the one on the right, which just happened to be the one in the back. I was actually going to try to shoot the middle dog, thinking that it might be the female. And when I went to go shoot, I had never even chambered a bullet. So my action and everything was wide open. So I said, guys, somebody's got to shoot my gun. I ain't got a bullet in. Well, Guffy shoots, misses. This other dog just takes off running to the left and uh, comes across top of a hill, I shoot and get a bullet in him running and he's up there spinning around. I, he's gotta be dead up there somewhere. And then we finally call in another dog back to the right and we was hoping we'd get him to come in a little bit closer, but you know, he, he was kind of cornering to us. I took a shot at him too. And he took off running off to the right and uh, he, he's dead over there somewhere. And then we've got another dog howling up here, which sounds like it's the female, which we may have a hard time trying to get to come back in. Yeah, apparently there's black coyotes on this property. Well, guys, we're down here looking for the dog that I shot running. We found good blood, but um, we tracked it down to this little pine thicket and we're having a hard time. It's kind of fizzled out. Oh, here's blood. Yeah. He's on this trail right here. Either. 
Blood on this stick. Blood out here, blood. Yep, blood right here. Well, guys, we had to give up on that coyote. We tracked him all the way down to the creek and then lost him at the creek. Don't exactly know what happened, but I did get this coyote here. This was the coyote to come back in and was standing up on top of the hill, kind of facing us, kind of trying to make his mind up if he was going to come in or not. And I, it looks like I hit close where I was aiming, but he's a young male. Um, my guess is the other dog that I hit running is the other male. What it looks like we called in was a, a male pair and a female, and that female is a dog in the back, and it just stayed way, way, way back in there. Um, that's just part of it, guys. I mean, our numbers this year have been good as far as, you know, dogs that we've hit and recovering them. I think this is only the second dog that we've legitimately killed that we haven't been able to find. I mean, there's... I think we're all three in agreement that that dog is that dog is hurt pretty bad. I mean, the, the amount of blood that we found going down through that trail, he's dead. So we're gonna get this dog in loaded up, put him in the back of the truck. Let you guys take a look at him. We got us a coyote right here, and he is not smelling the best. Let me tell you. I mean, talk about a crazy hunt right there. We, I mean, we're right in what we call their their bubble. That is the definition of getting into their bubble. When you hear us talk about that, we're in that zone where, when we howl, those dogs enter us back, and we know that we're close enough to where we can get that real fast action response out of them. And you know, it didn't take a whole lot. We howled a couple times, and let it die down and I literally just switched it to a vol squeak and that vol squeak was just barely playing to the point to where I could hear it barely barely could hear it and I doubt you can even hear it on the uh on the uh on the video on the audio on the scope and man, that's all it took for those three coyotes to come over and dumb me what I did from where I had my gun unloaded, I had my magazine in, but I never chambered around. So my action was completely open. So the game plan was, Guffy was on the dog on the far right, I decided I was gonna shoot the dog in the middle, which is what I was thinking was gonna be the female, and hopefully that was gonna allow us to call these other two male dogs back in. When I'm on that, uh, that middle dog, I start squeezing, I realize that my gun's not going off. So I tell these guys, hey, somebody's got to shoot, something's wrong with my gun. Guffy shoots, misses. The two dogs, me and Ethan, were on takeoff running. We're loot, they're swinging around, running around. Well, I reach back, pull my charging handle back to try to clear what I thought was a jam. Turns out it was not a jam, and I just never chambered a, bu uh, a bullet. So I reached up, <laughs> let the slide go forward. Dog was up there on the top, takes off running. And I shoot that dog running, he's spinning, but I got some limbs and stuff in my way, so it's kind of hard for me to get a follow-up shot. And then this dog comes back in uh, on that pup distress and kind of locks up, so I tried to swap the sound over to a, a, a female submissive, um, and he just was not feeling it. it he is a little timid, and uh, I took a quarter and two me shot, which I, I don't necessarily really like doing, but I felt good about the shot. I was good, I was steady, and sure enough, I hit him right where I wanted and uh, we got a coyote down the back of the truck guys so i don't know if this is gonna be our last i'm getting ready to get in the truck they're waiting on me and uh, we're gonna talk about it see if we're gonna go to one more spot or if we're gonna call it a night so uh, i'll see you guys here in a little bit I'll take the heat for guys we've decided to do any more hunts tonight sets tonight so we got this one male coyote back here in the back um it was a good night you know really and truly the way that we're looking at this is we hunted several properties um really and truly we went one for two tonight and the reason I say that is the properties that we went to, we did not know where those coyotes were at. It was the first time we'd ever been there, and we were learning it. Um, but the two properties that we had been to um, the, was no, the spot number one. We didn't even hear a dog, so that's a we struck out there. In that last place we went to, we knew where them dogs were at. We knew where they wanted to be, knew where they wanted to come from. And, you know, we had those three come in, and you talk about just an absolute cluster. How you forget 
to chamber around. I don't you know. Need to get chamber around. I don't know if my gun's on safety or fire. <laughs> we got three dogs running through everywhere. I can't. I can't figure out why I can't pull a trigger. That's the worst smelling dog I've smelled in a long time. I'm gonna go put this in there. I know you're talking, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this real quick. Right on his saw. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> he should have went. Guff, Guffy's, Josh, I'm sorry. We're at no, Josh, you're not. We're at Josh's house, by the way, Josh. I'm sorry. He's a bad friend. No, no, you should have went. He's bad, too. No, he, he gives us crap because he says we never invite him. And we and text him all the time, and he never texts us back. But Saturday, he's supposed to go. He ain't going. But if he, a, don't go, if he a, don't go, it's on. Well, there's a coyote in his truck. To remind him. We said we was going to put every coyote we killed in his truck this year. And we were slack on that, we promise. We didn't do it because, well, because we felt we're, bad for him. We're good, we're good people. We're good folks. We are good folks. But this one, <laughs> he deserved that one. <laughs> well guys that is it for today's video like i said called in those three dogs i didn't have a bullet in my gun guffy didn't know if his gun was on safety or if it was jammed we didn't know what was happening but in the grand scheme of things for two of the three dogs to die right there is i don't know how it happened but it happened so with that being said guys that's it for the video if you're new to southern extreme tv hit that subscribe button i am trying to grow this thing to 100,000 subscribers be sure to stay tuned we got a lot of stuff coming up in the future love you guys see y'all next time